Good evening. On behalf of the city of Jacksonville, I would like to welcome you to the swearing-in ceremony of Mayor Sammy Phillips, Councilmember Michael Lazaro, and Councilwoman Angela Washington. This evening, we're going to begin with an invocation that will be by Pastor Jason Brinker of the First Baptist Church. Please rise. Pastor. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we honor you in this place tonight. You alone are God who sits on the throne, not just the heavens, but over all things. And we praise you. We praise you for this night. We praise you for this city. All who live here, those who serve, those who work to protect this great city. We thank you specially today for those who lead us who stand for us and work day in and day out to make the city of Jacksonville the best it can possibly be. I pray today for new council leaders, those who are being sworn in. I pray today that you would grant them wisdom, and discernment that comes from you and from you alone. I pray that you give them courage to be able to act. I pray that you would give them endurance and perseverance to be able to stay the course. I pray, Father, that you would give them staying power a better vision and a better dream for a better day and a better tomorrow and lord jesus we come before you proclaiming that you are christ and you are lord and we thank you for all of the blessings for your word says that every good and perfect gift comes from the father of lights and his shot is pouring down upon us and so we acknowledge you in this place today we thank you for this great country we thank you for our men and women in service who, who protect us every day. We thank you for our men and women in law enforcement. We pray for them today. And we specifically pray for all those being sworn in today, a special blessing upon them, upon their families, and all that they serve. And we pray that you would receive all glory and all praise and all honor, Jesus. And in your name we pray, amen. Amen. Please remain standing. At this time, I'd like to ask that George Burroughs Jr., Sr., rather, come forward. He is the Junior Vice Commandant of the Onslow County Detachment of the Marine Corps League. He will lead us in the Pledge to the Flag. George? I do. I don't think I need a mic. All those that can stand, please do so. Render your hand over your heart, your right hand over your heart, worshiping or respecting our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. The city charter establishes that the mayor and council are elected by the public. The charter says that there will be one mayor who will be the chairman of the body, that there are six council members, four of whom are elected at, and wards, two of whom are elected by the entire city at large. That ensures that every voter of the city votes for a majority of the council. They vote for the mayor, they vote for the two members at large, and they vote for their ward person. So four of the seven that serve at any given time are elected by each person in the city. Being an elected official is an awesome responsibility. It is not to be taken into lightly as an ego trip. It is not to be taken in for self-serving purposes. And I can tell you that the four that are not sworn in tonight and the three that are being sworn in tonight pledge to you and have proven themselves as servants. They understand that we as government are here to provide service to you and that we are to be subservient to you and that as their leaders, they will do what they can to improve the quality of life in Jacksonville. Prior to recognizing the three that are to be sworn in, I would like to also recognize the four that are currently serving. Two members at large, Randy Thomas, if you'd please stand, please remain standing, Robert Warden at large, 
Jerome Willingham is out of town on business this evening. He is not with us, but we also have Jerry Bittner from Ward 2. These are current council members. As you're aware, council members and the mayor serve four-year staggered terms. So this evening, we're coming to swear in three who will begin four-year terms. It is indeed my honor to recognize the Honorable Charles Henry, who is a judge in our community who will do our swearing-in ceremony. We will begin when he comes up with the swearing-in of Mayor Phillips. Judge, do you have any opening comments? No, it's a pleasure to be back, and uh, I wish all of you who are serving now the very best, and those who are, will continue to serve uh, the very best in the, in the future and guiding the city. It's my pleasure and honor to be here. Thank you. This time, I'd ask Sammy Phillips to come forward to be sworn in as the mayor. I'd invite any of his family members and loved ones to come up and join him if they can. Mayor, if you will repeat after me, place your left hand on the bottle, raise your right. I repeat your name. I, Sammy Phillips. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully discharge. The duties of my office as mayor. The duties of my office as mayor. And maintain and uphold. And maintain and uphold. All the laws and regulations. All the laws and regulations. Of the city of Jacksonville. Of the city of Jacksonville. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> I think my photographer's up here already. But, uh, <laughs> but thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. Representing Ward 3, Michael Lazera, please come forward to be sworn in. Family members, please join. There you go. If you repeat after me, please. I state your name. I'm Michael Lazara. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I'll faithfully discharge. And that I will faithfully, faithfully discharge. The duties of, of my office as councilman. The duties of my office as councilman. And maintain and uphold. And maintain and uphold. All the laws and regulations. All the laws and regulations. Of the city of Jacksonville. The city of Jacksonville. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Good luck to you. <laughs> Photo opportunity. Hang 
one second. Why don't y'all step up in front of the microphones too? That'll be nice. <laughs> Representing Ward 4, Angela Washington, would she and her family and friends please come forward? Judge here. If you place your left hand on the Bible, raise your right and repeat after me. I and state your name. I, Angela Washington. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and maintain. That I will support and maintain. The Constitution and laws of the United States. The Constitution and laws of the United States. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. And the Constitution and laws of North Carolina. Not inconsistent therewith. Not inconsistent therewith. And that I will faithfully discharge. And I will faithfully discharge. The duties of my office as councilwoman. The duties of my office as councilwoman. And maintain and uphold. And maintain and uphold. All the laws and regulations. All the laws and regulations. Of the city of Jacksonville. Of the city of Jacksonville. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you again. Congratulations. <laughs> One note of special recognition. Over the last several years, Ms. Washington has worked with the National League of Cities on behalf of the city of Jacksonville. The National League of Cities is the organization that is nationwide that tries to represent local government at Washington. Sometimes that's a challenge. We were notified today that she has been appointed as the vice chair of the Human Development Committee of the National League of Cities. We recognize her for that appointment. Well done. Judge Henry, on behalf of the City Council, we would like to thank you for your continued dedication. We always are privileged when you take time from your busy schedule to come and do these swearing-in ceremonies. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. At this time, I'd like to ask... At this time, I'd like to ask the mayor and six council members to please come to the dais and begin the organizational session of this meeting. Thank you.
now we're, now we're complete. Okay. <laughs> we'll now call this organizational meeting of the Jacksonville City Council to order. I want to welcome everyone who's come out tonight in support of your family and friends that have been sworn in, including my family. Thank you all for coming. Uh, this will be... Uh, Mike and I have been together for a long time, since 2005, and Angela, she's in her, going in her second term. Uh, so uh, I'm very proud to be able to say that I'm uh, part of this team. Uh, we've really, uh, I think we've accomplished a lot for the citizens of the city of Jacksonville over the last several years, and we still have a lot to do. And we're going to continue to be able to do this, and, and we, the, only re the only way that we can actually accomplish all the things we need to do is to continue working as a team like we've been able to do so far over the last several years. Uh, I'm very proud of the uh, of the relationships that we've uh, formed with one another and uh, I'm very proud of this team's ability to select uh, staff that that helps us to implement the policies that we uh, bring into being and the and help help us to to realize the vision that we have as a council. Uh, I want to commend Dr. Woodruff uh, especially I mean, for building a management team, uh, a staff team that uh, really, in my opinion, pales to nobody else. I mean, you all have done a great job. John, uh, with John as the attorney, uh, Ron, Glenn, Carmen, and all the other 500, how many we have now? 550 members or people that are employed by the city of Jacksonville to help bring the services that our citizens have come to realize that are important to them. Now, uh, I'm going to give everybody a chance to speak in a minute, but uh, I do want to say a few other things. Uh, again, uh, as far as the election was concerned, it was a tough battle, but we did, we did finally, we pulled it off. We pulled it off for this third term. Uh, uh, Mike and Angela and I did. We, it was a tough fight, and, uh, but we, we survived it. And, uh, but I do want to thank all those that did uh, take the time and, the, and have the concern for this community that actually went out and voted on Election Day and, and the early voting. I think there was probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 800 people that actually showed up to vote in a non-contested election, which I think that speaks volumes right there that, you know, uh, th that's a lot more than what I anticipated. <clears throat> I, I would at this point want to encourage people that live in my community or live in any community across America. This is a right that has been fought for, has been scrapped for. Our military folks, you know, Colonel, George, Haas, General McKissick, you guys, you guys have helped protect this freedom, this, our freedom to be able to go out and select who the leaders are in our communities, in our state, and in our nation. So I would encourage people, you know, to take notice, to be involved, to get out there, get off, get off your duffs, put that TV show aside, you know, long enough to go out there and vote. It's very important. Uh, I, I don't think there's many of you here that wouldn't agree with me on that, that it is a very important duty we have as American citizens to, to vote. I know that our turnout's not been good over the last few years, but, uh, you know, just, just the fact that 800 people came out in an in a uncontested election tells me there are people that are concerned with what goes on in their community. And I take this uh, third term as well as I know Michael does, and I know... Uh, Angela does as an endorsement of what we have done as a team here with the city of Jacksonville uh, the accomplishments that we have been able to uh, result or to, to have and uh, I've been here I'm one of these folks here that's been here all my life I don't know of but three mayors that I know of that were born and raised here in Jacksonville uh, but you know, we're an anomaly. We have a lot of new people that move to this community. It's your community too, also. So just because somebody's born and raised here, don't give them any more right to this community than uh, if Colonel Escalante decides to to forego going back to uh, his home, uh, that he stays here in Jacksonville, you're going to be just as much a member of this community as I am. And uh, that's how we treat people here. You know, that's why... That's one of the reasons why this is such a wonderful place to live is the fact that we do have such diversity here in our population. We have people from all over the United States. We have all religions, races. We have it all here. 
you know, a lot of cities, a lot of towns in North Carolina can't, can't say that. But again, I want to thank all of you that have come out tonight and uh, thank you for that vote of support this year in the election and <coughs> returning us to uh, another four-year term in office. And at this time, I will uh, go to Mayor Pro Tem Lazar for comments. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank um, Honorable Judge Henry for taking time out of a very, very, very busy schedule to be with us tonight. It was very appreciated. Thank you, sir. Um, second of all, I'd, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank my, my beautiful wife, who is an unbelievable supporter, and uh, without her, uh, absolutely nothing would be possible in my particular life, so I want to thank her for always being there as the, uh, as the pillar that, that holds me up and that makes me uh, uh, get up in the morning and, and do what I do. So thank you very much for your support, and, and my sons, Michael and Anthony, who couldn't be here, and, and my mother-in-law and uh, my father-in-law who just recently passed away. So always thanking them for their support in, in my endeavors. Um, also like to thank the citizens uh, that we serve. It's, it's truly an honor and a privilege to sit up here and serve um, the, the people and the citizens of Jacksonville. As I said earlier, you, even after all these years, you still get sort of nervous taking the oath um, because it's a tremendous responsibility, and, um, and I take it very seriously, as, as the other members up here do, and I always want to make sure that I, I make the right decisions, that I, that I treat the people that I serve in the right manner that they, they believe that I should be serving. And I will, as always, give it my pledge that I will always do my best, and I will continue to educate myself to be a, a better leader and a better decision maker so that we can leave this place a little bit better than the way we found it. And that's all that we can hope for and that we're good mentors to our youth and that we show them what public service is all about and that, uh, that it's our duty and obligation to give back. You know, many of us are blessed and it would be a travesty if we didn't take the opportunity to give back to our community and, and leave it a little better than we got it. Uh, lastly, I would like to thank our tremendous staff uh, the city of Jacksonville is blessed to have a wonderful leader um, and a team of leaders throughout our organization and all the employees beyond that that truly care. I mean, you could look at the longevity ceremonies that we often have and the, the 15 years and the 20 years and the 25 years and the 40 years um, is a testament of, of the commitment to our community and the quality of, of servants that you have. It's not just a job. Our people truly care about what they do, and it's interesting throughout the various departments, whether it's water and sewer uh, or parks and rec, everybody takes a, a personal interest in ensuring that that the very best service is, is being expedited within their department. So thank you to all of you uh, and for the work that you do. And as well, I will pledge to you that I will do my best to protect you and to protect your environment so that you're always appreciated and that you're always educated to do the best that you can do. To my fellow council members, it's been an hour, honor and a privilege to work with all of you. We've, we've had some, some very uh, good progress, still a lot of work to do, but it's, it's a pleasure to work with a group that we don't always have to agree, but we can respectfully disagree and at the end of the day show the public that we're unanimous in working on their behalf. So thank you for your, uh, your support. So thank you very much, and thank all of you for being with us tonight. I know you took time out of your schedules. So thank you. Thanks. Angela. Um, well, good evening to each and every one of you. Um, thank you so very much for taking the opportunity to come out tonight and to celebrate with us on our re-election as the official um, mayor and council of the city of Jacksonville. I echo what my colleagues have already mentioned, is that we serve a great city and that we do not take our 
official position lightly, that with that, it comes with a great deal of responsibility, not just a responsibility to ourselves, but to the constituents that have put us in office. And sometimes there are decisions that we labor about and think about that sometimes the public may feel that, you know, the city council isn't doing what we're supposed to be doing or they're um, looking at it in one lens or in one view. But the one thing that I will have to mention is that I honestly do believe is that we don't necessarily look at things from an individualistic point of view or to figure out which individuals can receive the best that the city has to offer. I honestly do believe that we think about the greatest good for the greatest number and looking at the city of Jacksonville as a collective whole and figuring out what it is that we can do best for our citizens because the choices and the decisions that we make today is going to have a ripple effect to the next generations. So we are very careful and mindful about the responsibility and the task that the voters and our constituents have placed us in and have given us the faith and entrusted in us that we're going to make the right decisions and to do what is right. I would be remiss if, first of all, I didn't give honor and thanks to God Almighty for just the wonderful blessing that he has bestowed upon me and the trust that he has that has given the voters the confidence to place me in office again for my second year. I want to thank my church family who's represented here tonight, St. Julia and Zion Church, and then my family, adopted church family, um, Christian Chapel Missionary Baptist Church down in Hampstead, North Carolina. And um, I can remember four years ago when I was the junior council member elected for the very first time, and I was thinking about and thinking so many different people. And I kept feeling that there was individuals that I hadn't thought about. And I remember when Council Member Jerome Willingham said um, that your parents must be very proud of you. It's like, oh my God, I forgot about my mom and dad, but my mom and dad had passed away. So I just want to take this opportunity just to thank my parents for just instilling in me the, um, the right attitude, the right mindset to help to leave this world in a better place than what it was when I came. Um, on this coming Thursday, December 3rd, will mark my 25th birthday. I look good for 25, don't I? <laughs> and, so, and, we can t and I am very blessed for that because even though my parents are not here to see the contribution and their hard work that they have instilled in me because I'm continuing to grow and continuing to give back. I am very honored and very thankful to the good Lord above that I have my godmother here, Mrs. Mary Morrison, who just celebrated her 90th birthday uh, two months ago. And then I am also very thankful that Mrs. Mary Jones, we affectionately call her Chubby, that when I was born in the old Anzalo Memorial Hospital, she was the nurse on duty when I came into the world. So what a wonderful blessing. And with that, I say to my council members, I look forward to working with you for another four years. Um, I'm still the good looking one on the council, as you can see. <laughs> the boys let me hang with them and they don't treat me any different. They just think that I'm just another boy and, you know, they, they let me in and they let me run with the big dog. So I'm having fun. So thank you to the city of Jacksonville. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Angela. I don't normally do this, but I, I need to add a couple of comments that I didn't take proper note of uh, until Mayor Pro Tem Lazar reminded me of in his little speech there. And the fact is, I do want to go home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was kicking him under the table. <laughs> I was wondering what he, I thought he was after a bug or something under here. I do want to recognize, uh, well, first off, thank you, Jason, for coming tonight and, and doing the invocation. Uh, I appreciate you taking time out to do that. And, and Judge, as always, always great to see you, and thank you very much for, for what you do. And George, you were my special request for the pledge tonight, by the way. Appreciate the service that you gave all during the time prior to Fernando as far as the uh, veterans rep, but uh, you're a good man. You were a good Marine and appreciate your, your service to your country and your community. I also want to recognize over here in my family section, my dad, Walter, uh, 
He's there. He's the pretty. He's the pretty one over there. Every time. My mother Patty that's next to it. <laughs> My sister Robin. Mm -hmm. right. My brother-in-law Billy. And I don't have any brothers, so I can't. <laughs> that's an inside joke. Anyway. Uh, and, but I do want to give uh, attribution to, uh, as you called your wife, the rock. Well, mine's the rock. I, I don't know where I'd be without mine. Uh, running, uh, I'd be broke loose from the moor, that's for sure. <laughs> but uh, I think I would agree with yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> when people say she's my better half, they ain't wrong. Uh, she's definitely the better half. Uh, she keeps me in line. She always has. She's, uh, but she does it in such a way that uh, only, uh, you know, only uh, someone who truly loves you could do. And, uh, you know, she's supported me in the good times and the bad times. And she's always been that. And she will agree with me on this. She's always been that calming force in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I thank you, Janice, for everything. She would let me go home anyway, but <laughs> I, I, I just wanted to make sure I gave proper uh, recognition for people that are so important. Dr. Lingle, thank you for coming tonight. Appreciate you coming here on behalf of the community college and as a friend of everybody up here on this council. Colonel Escalante, thank you for taking time out of your schedule. General McKissick, thank you very much. And we also have the High Sheriff of Oslo County here tonight. <laughs> We appreciate you coming. Jack Bright, County Commissioner, back there in the back. And I know I forgot. Uh, Earl, Earl Taylor. Taylor and, and, Thomas. And, and Bobby. And John, and, and Earl, Bob Taylor, Earl Taylor here. Mm -hmm. He's in the back. Oh, I see you back here. Pam Thomas. Pam Thomas is here. Bob. And, and Bob. Uh, mm -hmm. He's in the back with the camera. Yeah, he's been taking those wonderful pictures for us. Thank you very much. Uh, Bob Williams is with the school board. But thank you all for coming. And I will ask my other council members uh, if they would like to make any comments at this time. Just make one little comment. Uh, thank thank uh, the uh, the other elected boards for, for being here tonight. I'm, I certainly echo very strongly all the, the things that were said by, by the, uh, the previous speakers. But uh, one of the things that, that will help the city of Jacksonville continue to prosper is our continued good relations with our County commissioners, our sheriff, our, our base, our community college, our board of education. Uh, we, we couldn't do it without, without them, and we certainly value their friendship and relationship. And together, we'll all help make Jacksonville and Oslo County a, an even better place to live in the future. So, so thank you all. Thank you, Bob. I'll just, uh, <clears throat> again, just want to say I, too, uh, after being here about eight years, I appreciate what's happened, what's transpired over this past eight years. I've been married about 29 years, and for many years, my wife and I would ride through town, and she kept mentioning bulldozers, bulldozers. We need some bulldozers through here. And, uh, she doesn't say that much anymore. I think they've hit a lot of the spots that, that she was referring to. So uh, I'm proud of that. I'm glad. I hope we can keep moving forward at a, at a affordable pace. We need to work on making our city. It's very attractive. It's got natural beauty all we have to do is reveal it but we we need to work hard at making it more affordable to live in the city of jacksonville i think that's an important thing and on that note i, I appreciate the campaign spending you guys did this time i can go with that kind of level <laughs> i accounted for every penny okay, okay. all right thank you Mary. <laughs> sorry about the steelers the other night too that, by the way. me too <laughs> and they were sorry but um i wish councilman Washington hadn't mentioned that she's the junior council person because everyone's looking and saying, who's the senior? Well, <laughs> you're looking at him first. Yeah. It dawned on me that since 1987, I've spent more time of my life in this council chambers as city manager and as council person than I, and many, many good memories, many good experiences working for a consul and working with a consul. And it's been said before, this is one of the better consuls I've worked with. And I won't break out and sing a, a refrain of Kumbaya, but it's close. <laughs> but I look forward to working with you people again. Uh, 
we've got challenges, but considering our track record, I don't think there's anything that we can't accomplish by working together. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Chair. I did not see you come in, but I do want to recognize my county commissioner back here, Millionaire Williams. Thank you. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to move on now to some advisory committee uh, liaison appointments. And, uh, yeah, Mayor, Mayor oh, my gosh, I missed that whole line there, didn't I? Let's do that first. So let's elect the Mayor Pro Tem. That'll be the next uh, item on our agenda for the organizational meeting. I would entertain Mr. any uh, nominations. Mr. Mayor, I would like to nominate uh, Councilman Lazara, who I believe would be if elected, going on to his fifth term as mayor pro tem, mm -hmm. and he's done an excellent job, and I so make that nomination. Mayor Phillips, I move that the nominations be closed and the candidate be accepted by acclamation. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Uh -huh. Aye. All opposed? Congratulations, Thank Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you. Right over. Yeah, thank you. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, thank you for that choice, uh, members of council. Uh, as you know, Mayor Pro Tem Lazara is like the, uh, what is that bunny, the rabbit with Energizer. the batter, the Energizer bunny. Uh, he does everything. This guy, this guy has no, has no slow down button on him. He's just been, uh, I know that uh, Richard, uh, Dr. Woodruff mentioned something about uh, Ms. Washington's appointment, but a lot of people don't, haven't heard yet that, uh, Mayor Pro Tem Lazaro also has been uh, elected as the second uh, vice president of the North Carolina League of Municipalities, the board of directors, and we're very proud of that. Uh, uh, very proud of that appointment, and that puts him in line in three, two years, two years, two years to be the president of that organization, which is our chief organization of cities in North Carolina. So uh, congratulations to you formally for that appointment. Uh, it's a it's a great testimony to. Uh, to you and to the city of Jacksonville for us to receive uh, that appointment. And uh, you did finally tell your wife, and I didn't blow anything up. Did I? Okay, all right. So, <laughs> all right. but congratulations. Thank Great you. job. <laughs> but it does a lot of stuff, I tell you. It does a lot. All right, so we have some advisory committee liaison appointments we want to make tonight. And um, I think that probably, unless anybody has any uh, other uh, any objections, uh, I think we'll probably just stay with what we've got. Uh, let me read those off uh, for the audience here. Um, the Environmental and Appearance Advisory Committee uh, is is the liaison for that committee is Miss Washington here. The Board of Adjustment, uh, which is the appeals board for zoning and uh, other types of decisions is Mr. Jerry Bittner. Uh, Community Development Advisory Committee liaison is uh, Jerome Willingham. Uh, the Planning Advisory Board is, is Councilman Mob Warden. The uh, Recreation and Parks Advisory Committee will continue to be uh, Councilman Jerome Willingham. And the Water and Sewer Advisory Committee uh, will be uh, stay with Randy Thomas. Councilman Randy Thomas. All right, so uh, those are mayoral appointments, and there really needs to be no consensus on that. Is that correct? Okay. All right, so we have some special committees here also, and these are our appointees. Under elected. Elected. These are elected. Okay. All right, so we're going to elect some special committees, and the first committee is the Oslo Civic Affairs, which is currently... Uh, council member Jerry Bittner is the liaison. Mayor Phillips, I move that Jerry Bittner continue to serve on the Oslo Civic Affairs Committee. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I move that the nomination be closed and that the uh, that Mr. Bittner be elected by acclamation. Second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Next, we have a Transportation Advisory Committee, and these are two positions, and they currently are being uh, uh, held by Mayor Pro Tem Lazara and Council Member Bob Warden. Uh, 
Uh, Mayor Phillips, I'll make the uh, nomination of Bob Warden and Michael Lazar. Mayor Phillips, I move that the nominations be closed and the candidates be accepted by acclamation. We have a second. Second. Okay. We have a second. And is there any further discussion? Here, none all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay. So we have come to the end of our organizational meeting, and at this time I will uh, entertain a motion to adjourn the So moved. Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. It's not all over yet. We're going to have reception out there, so please don't run off. Uh, they've set up a reception in the uh, in the foyer here. But with that, I will make a motion. So or entertain Second. a motion. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. nope. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed?